And at this point, I think with Sherilyn saying about the being, you know, on a 12 hour shift um, with PPE, I think it's a time we need to think about our colleagues in the NHS who are looking after people with COVID-19 in intensive care, who are recovering, who are, are being kind of rehabilitated because sometimes the, the pathway is quite tough afterwards. Um, and please accept our thanks, all of you, for what you're doing. And also our thoughts are with the people who've got family or friends who are sick or who've, who've lost loved ones and we think of them now at the moment and we send some healing thoughts to those suffering from COVID or long COVID, which we'll be talking about in a couple of weeks actually, but that's also something we're finding out more about now and it's very hard to, to cope with. And it's a difficult time and I'm very conscious with my colleagues here that you know there's bits of the country are going through restrictions and it must feel like you've been under restrictions forever. Yes. Um, but keep patient, keep with it. We, we get through it together. We do need to be together with this. And again, a big thank you to the NHS um, workers, essential workers, and also all the people who keep the country going that, that often don't get mentions like the rubbish men and like the postmen and like the delivery men and women who keep everything going. So big thank you to them, as well as the NHS. Now, I usually at this point move on to a little bit of news or bits of things we need to think about. And I'm, I'm very conscious that at the moment we're moving into flu season. So it's a time to get your flu jab and encourage women to get their flu jabs as well. There is um, guidance online on that if you've got any questions. It's now because we're coming to the end of October can't believe it but it's becoming to the end of black history month there's been some fantastic tweets and facebook bits of, on black history which have been really challenging and have uh, certainly have made me think differently um and have, have been worth seeing so do have a look if you're if you're a tweeter have a look there's a fantastic one of giselle padman Payne talking about sickle cell and thalassemia and teaching virtually and that was really interesting that was just this morning and just some of the the bits that have come through to celebrate the contribution that black britons have made throughout our history not just recently but for a long time it's also breast feet, breast cancer awareness month and down syndrome awareness month coming to the end now I guess the big news and we were talking as, as, a, as with my colleagues here earlier the big news has been the work of um, Marcus Rashford in raising awareness of the problems with vulnerable kids getting fed and it's been very heartwarming to see the response from local people from even McDonald's all these different companies rallying around to make sure to try and make sure that kids are getting fed and also families are getting supported. And there, there was someone in the House of Lords talking this morning about how you feel that hunger and you never forget it. And I think we need to look after our kids and we have to look after the women who are looking after the kids because they're going to be feeling anxious and guilty as, as for no reason, but they, they've got to look after their kids. And of course, we've got the USA elections underway, a lot in the news about that. Some slightly crazy things for us. Final stage next week, I understand. And it's all for, for to be interesting to see what's happening there. Um, and just to say there's um, a resources page, a few things to be added, but that's going to be available for anyone who's watching today. And there's some lots of RCM resources, references from tonight's session, which you'll be finding interesting. There's also, just to highlight, a free spotlight on breastfeeding research 2020. Ulster University are doing that on the 6th of November. It's online, as most things are at the moment. So it's wherever you are. You don't have to travel to Ulster. You, you get some fantastic speakers and fantastic sessions. Also, this year's UNICEF Baby Friendly Conference will be online on the 18th of November, and that's um, also online. And there are some um, discounted tickets, I think, for that as well. And it's coming up for Halloween. 
I don't think many people are going to be doing the sweeties outside and all, all of that this time. It, I think I suspect it's going to be much more home base. All I would say is if you're using a pumpkin and cutting a little face out, remember to eat that pumpkin because they often are very tasty. <laughs> and that's my sort of um, eco warrior coming out. Don't throw that stuff away. Well, I think having done all those little bits and notices, as one would say, I'm going to move on to the main meat of tonight. Now, some people, some of you who will be watching may, like me, have qualified a long time ago. And you might have been trained in the olden days when you'd sit in lectures and you'd have prescribed program. Didn't have things like research necessarily as a big feature. You had, um, I, I can remember actually being six of us in a group, which is a luxury nowadays to have such a small group. But we, I can remember being lectured, six of us being told what to write from the board. We wrote exactly what was on the board in our notes. I'm not sure if it went through the brain at that point, but it went into my notes. Mm -hmm. and, and nowadays we've got the benefit of research and evidence-based practice, and that makes Actually, it, it's even more difficult for teachers. There's a lot of material to get through to help students understand and apply to their practice. Um, and so we're going to find out how they go about it, not just in a very simple way, but a sort of slightly revolutionary way, maybe. I might be wrong, but I think it might be. And I'm going to introduce our three speakers. We're very fortunate to have a little trio. We have Dr. Anna Barham, Senior Midwife Educator at the University of Central Lancashire. In fact, they're all from the UCLan. And, and she's a researcher as part of the Thrive Centre at UCLan, evaluating continuity of carer. She's also Director of All Four Maternity and Publisher of the Practicing Midwife and the Student Midwife Journal. We have Sarah Cordy, a mum, midwife and lecturer. She describes herself as a vegetarian, veggie and a feminist plus a bookworm. And she was also <laughs> the first to go through case-based learning. And, and she's also got a huge interest in infant feeding. And then we have Sherilyn Bob Bobalski. I'm sure, I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that correctly. Bobalski. Yeah, Bobalski, right. sorry. And who's a senior midwife, midwifery lecturer at UCLan. She's worked in the NHS for 20 plus years and higher ed for four years. And not surprisingly, she's passionate about education. And she's also a Yorkshire lass. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to hand, I'm going to hand over the screen to my three wonderful colleagues. And I'm just going to luxuriate in midwifery education. Thanks for watching this video from the Maternity and Midwifery Forum. For more expert opinion and analysis, hit the button below to subscribe.